Sandusky. The pinnacle moment for the monument came on March 29th. 13 peaceful protesters were paraded away and charged with resisting and obstructing officers. It's, it's unbelievably tragic. It is so tragic that this monument was removed. Within minutes, the monument would make its way up Capitol Boulevard to be replanted at its new home in front of St. Michael's Cathedral on State Street. We just marked the anniversary of the Ten Commandments statue being moved from downtown Boise to a new location and got a lot of good comments and questions and all kinds of stuff about that story that we wanted to share. Like this one we'll start with from Scott. Hashtag the 208. The city should have sold a 10 by 10 area surrounding the cross at the park to the church, making it private property like they did with the cross on Table Rock. It's a good point. Or Ken, who said, what about the cross on Table Rock? People wondering why that's allowed to stay, but the commandments needed to move. Well, Table Rock also has a history of controversy, including, yeah, lawsuits over the separation of church and state. Where did the cross come from or where does any of this date to? Well, the idea for the cross, it actually came from a 1950s TV show called This Is Your Life. And there was an episode where one of the characters has a dream of building a giant cross to overlook their town. Thus, the cross on Table Rock was inspired and born. In 1956, the Junior Chamber of Commerce, also known as the JCs, they built the cross for almost $900 just to promote Christianity. According to the Idaho Architecture Project, it was built on land that was owned by the Idaho Department of Correction. So it's often been the center of controversy with some seeing it as a beacon of faith and devotion and Christianity, while others argue that it shows a lack of separation between church and state, and not everyone in the Valley wants to see that. But in 1971, the JCs petitioned the Board of Corrections to buy a small amount of land around the cross so that they could put it on private property. The Board of Corrections gave the land to the Idaho Board of Lands, who then auctioned it off to the JCs. And the JCs, they bought a 44 by 70 foot parcel around the cross for $100. Unlike the Ten Commandments, the cross, 60 feet tall, 45,000 pounds, still stands on top of Table Rock despite multiple lawsuits and acts of vandalism over the years. Preservation Idaho says that although the iconic landmark remains controversial, for many locals, it, quote, represents the peaceful and loving community in which they reside. 208, we'll be right back.